Hello, welcome to another update video. Uh, this one is on some work I've been doing in the last week on fences. Um, I basically made them for my Wild West wargaming, but I guess they can be used uh, in other genres as well. And I've made three types of fencing. So the first one um, is made with matchsticks. So I've uh, bought a, I think I've I got these at uh, Hobbycraft, just a, a bag of uh, modelling matchsticks, um, but I guess you can use any, just cut the heads off, which is what I did with the longer ones, I uh, just bought a few boxes of these from Morrison's for 87p um, and chopped off the, the match heads. So there the, uh, they, they form the, the long parts and uh, the small matches just cut up form the uprights and I mount them on a bit of uh, uh, mounting card so this is the card that I use to mount my photographs on, these are off cuts I just cut those out uh, use a bit of white glue, stick, it, stick them all together and then uh, cover the base with uh, wood glue and sand paint it with some uh, paint samples from Wilco's for a uh, pound each. Uh, these have come in really handy to paint my buildings with. And then um, shaded it with some um, Citadel uh, flesh shade brown and then highlighted with uh, some Tamiya I think, uh, sand colour. And then just added a few bits of um, flock, uh, green flock and a couple of bits of uh, lichen just to add some uh, scenic stuff uh, to them. So that's the first fence. The second fence is in this style. Um, these are made with uh, coffee stirrers and kebab sticks and um, similar uh, basing with a bit of flock just a touch here and there and some lichen. So um, I got the coffee stirrers from eBay, a few quid for a thousand, which will last uh, quite some time. Um, and these are they, so I cut off the ends and then uh, I get a, a scalpel and I just uh, go along and, and chip out some bits and pieces just to uh, make it a bit a bit rougher uh, so that the edges aren't aren't straight uh, and then they look more more rustic um, otherwise whoop, the focus uh, otherwise they would look too uniform and then I've painted those and dry brushed uh, some highlight onto them and the third type of fence, oh, uh, the, um, the posts, uh, these ones are rounded as opposed to the square matches. Uh, the posts are just uh, kebab sticks which I got from Morrison's. Uh, I think they're about 90p for, I don't know how many's in there. Uh, quite a few anyway. Uh, that'll last some time. Uh, and the third uh, fencing is a combination of the matchsticks and the coffee stirrers. So I've got the long matches going uh, horizontal, the short matches uh, vertical, uh, the coffee sticks are roughed up a bit um, I've just snapped them off uh, to make them uh, rougher rather than cut them. Added uh, the um, flock and lichen and dry brushed the base and the fence to make it a bit more uh, realistic. So three types of fence, uh, should keep me going for a while. Um, at some stage I'll need to make some gates in uh, in this style and this style. Uh, these ones I'll probably use to uh, sort of uh, between buildings so that uh, it blocks off an alleyway. Um, so I probably won't need a gate for that, that style. 
Um, and that's what I've been working on this week. Thanks for watching.